the action of hunting or harming someone in return for injury or the wrong suffering at their hands. Revenge. I'm just gonna get a drink here. These guys look like they're friendly. I think that makes back in, but... Hmm. Today I was growing a dollar for Saurus, but I guess luck was just not on my side because the locals had no interest in sharing the water hole with me. At 80% juvenile growth, so close to adult, I would find myself in a fight that would change the course of the entire day. I could tell straight away that this sub-adult Rex was now struggling, so I pushed on and applied more pressure. But the rest of the group was now on to mm, Stacking that blue, man, it's getting good. Stack, stack the blue, stack the blue. I pulled out of the fight because a body had dropped, and now the actions of a Ceratosaurus would end my life. Revenge is not something I normally seek out, but I was gifted with almost the perfect spawn location on that very same mountain. So in the dark I grew, alone, patiently, waiting, formulating a plan. See, the Ceratosaurus has a much longer growth time than a dialogue, and when he killed me he was only a baby himself. And just under an hour later, I was now a fresh adult. I checked my recordings to memorise his growth and skin. Finally, at the top of the mountain, the tables had turned. I was 82% adult growth and ready. He was still growing in the exact same spot, but with no friends and now all alone. He was sitting down, possibly AFK. I throw called him. After I disposed of the Ceratosaurus and fueled my need for revenge, this giga would chase me off the body with no warning. And later that night, not so far away, a fresh adult Carnotaurus. Tough world. That's me, good for the night. The body left me gratified. And long after the corpse had disappeared, I made my way back to the previous lake, where a new mixed packing group was starting to form. There we go. I retreated to buy myself enough time to let the bleed do the work. However, the young adolescent would now attempt to guard his friend. Not the smartest move on my part, but I kind of gave him a free hit. I just need to keep the big one moving. He'll bleed out. Damn, that bleed's hurting a fair bit. He's dead. I'm going to die. With an opportunity to sit down, I took it to let the bleed drop off. You know, they're giving me time. Might as well get my bleed off. After all, he's not going to get that bleed off anytime soon. When I was sitting there healing up, that's when I noticed the small juvie that had died. The server has rules, so I made my way back over to the body. After feasting on the corpse and staying hydrated, and that's when the young Ceratosaurus would three call me. But this was a complete mistake because he forgot to take his friend into consideration. God damn it, that bleed hurt. The sub adult Giga had taken too much bleed damage and would succumb to his injuries. And now with the remains of another corpse, there'll be no need for any more violence. Finally, I could sit down and begin to recover. <laughs> but when enough time had passed, this young Ceratosaurus would three call me. But being way too small for such a fight, I easily bled him out and he died. And now his body would provide me with more than enough. I sat around and waited until nothing of him left remained. Had one final drink from the waterhole. And the next day, I would part ways with the mountain. I traversed across the map until I found myself at Twin Lakes. And that's when I stumbled into a massive shank Tangosaurus. A monster of a herbivore, more than capable of holding its own. Let's get the stomp out of him. Yeah, boring. Standing on top of her nest, this massive female stood up. I three called her to let her know that I was aggressive. Let's 
ってはオンリーモーメントントゥトゥファイトウォルフォルグロウンマイルアメージフォンマライクオーディズナワンインドウォーダーネヴィーヴィーノーディスアワンThey go in the water, gentlemen. Nah, leave them alone. They're boring me anyway. I don't want to sit there for half an hour. To be honest, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I left the herbivores alone and moved on. But later that night, I was on the edge of starvation. And for this young Tyrannosaurus, he was just born under the wrong stars. But on the edge of life, he must have rolled his dice. He sat down and submitted. Sit down then. He pulled out a smart cooldown and played it on me. Human emotions. I could hear the sound of AI that had just spawned nearby. <laughs> There's an AI over here. I'll lead it. He like fully gave in. Fully submitted, so. After I filled a portion of my stomach, I made my way back over to the young Rex. You seem a little beaten up there, my friend. <laughs> he was beaten up badly, but he'd live to see another day, possibly. Eventually, I logged out for the day. Anybody home? Turn that off, man. What a freaking distraction. I wandered around the docks, infant structure that had been abandoned long ago. Man, I remember having some epic battles here long before I was a YouTuber. Seeing and feeling this place once again made me feel very nostalgic. Oh, yes, please. I'm so hungry. It's not funny. Because I was constantly on the move, I was almost always starving, never giving the AI enough time to spawn around me. Hellos. I'm too hungry to fight too. With only moments away from starting to starve to death, I couldn't stick around and hunt no players. But eventually the AI, it would appear. Speaking of starving to death, I was not the only one. A young Giga was struggling to find his way. He was feeling the full effect of desperation. I hunted and killed a Velociraptor, a small AI that was nearby. Come over here, buddy. There's food over here. Come down here, mate. He doesn't know how to find food. Look at him. He's a simple simpleton. <laughs> He's dying. Rest in peace, my little friend. He starved to death. He died, but not alone. I was there to share his final moments. I even tried to help him. Without talking to him. <laughs> Unfortunate. I moved on from the falls and made my way downstream. And later that night, I did what I had to, to stay alive. Sorry, mate. Made it as quick as possible. Mm. Thing is, is I don't want to hunt other dilos, right? At all. Every dinosaur's experience is different when you play in a game of survival. That dilo, 
I have no doubt if given the opportunity will kill me. I have experienced cannibalism at first hand and I have been the cannibal. In my stories I show you the full journey, all of it, the good and the bad. But at this point, I've been playing these games for so long that I'm like, I trust my own species a lot less than anything else. So I almost have to question myself, do I kill this player before they've got the opportunity to kill me? After being lured in and killed by cannibals in my previous IL video. On this in particular day, I took no chances. For instance, Sorry, right, buddy. Sorry, right, mate. I missed the open, too. Now, I feel bad, but I'm not gonna lie. If he was in my position, he would have did the same thing. I'm gonna have a few people hate on me for it, but... Alright. Got a body for a bit. So that's handy. Feeling guilty with what i done. I made my way up to the pond and had a drink. Now, I did miss the in open on him, too, which is quite interesting, so it went from having the element of surprise to actually lose. I was enjoying my meal until a supper dog giga came along. Bring it on buddy, bring it on. He had some decent growth, but I could easily challenge him. Alright, I'll come to you. Recalling was a bit of a mistake now, wasn't it? With multiple bleeds now stacked up, he was in some serious trouble. He's gonna bleed out and die. Definitely. <laughs> I don't even need to ride him at this point, but I'm gonna. We'll get this over and done with. That is by far enough lead to end him. He's hanging in there still. But yeah, he can't survive that much bleed. Not at all. The sub giga had done too much running, he'd bled out and died. I filled up on my fair share and eventually the body would disappear. I'm out of here, body's gone. Cool. Because those Utahs, yes. Don't want to mess with Utahs, man. Even a single Utah can kill a dino with, with ease too. So. I stalked these Utah Raptors throughout the night until the next day. I can hear those Utah Raptors. There he is, just crossed over. Alright, uh alright. -huh, uh -huh. They're sitting down, I think. Perfect. Might not see me cross over. There he is. I'd taken a little bit of damage, but as for the Utah Raptors, they were suffering. With only seconds left to make their final decisions, one of them chose to fully abandon the other. Oop, that one failed his jump. Alright, cool. Eat, eat, eat. Max the stomach out. Alright. Cool. 
still a fair bit on this body, so it'll last me a while. Oh, you tell my dog. Yeah, that's fair enough. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Eat, eat, eat. I consumed the entire body, had one final drink from this river, and moved on, heading towards Twin Lakes. I took advantage of the Suko hunting AI and caught him off guard. It's two. Actually, careful. I only landed a few bites, but I kept him on his toes bleeding. But he was a smart player, and never let me get behind him again. Eventually the bleed had fallen off. He'd fully healed up. I barely scratched him. We parted ways, and the next day, after I hunted some AI for some food, a pair of Utah Raptors had tracked me down. Oh. I decided to instantly reposition. Not much. Not like how they're doing service now. You get two Utahs, I'll fight one of you, you could still kill me. Hey, Shelly, you come to me. These trees here. No rocks. There is more than one way that a single Utah Raptor can easily kill a single Dilo. These guys had two, but they definitely approached the fight in the wrong way. And now that one was bleeding, I could easily focus on the other. And in the distance I could hear the broadcast of another Dilo for Saurus. He's gonna jump over me. I have to pre pre-turn. He was starting to drop his guard. I could see his head looking around for a signal from his friend. Nate's bleeding hard. He did. Game over. He can't love that. I sat down to take a moment to heal, because they were definitely not going anywhere anytime soon. He's gonna die. Killed himself. His mate's gonna die too. He killed himself. With both the Utah Raptors now dead, I was now safe to indulge and had the security of two bodies. The Utah Raptors, they're tricky because a good Utah Raptor will just trade the first bite for Dilo and then just Z turn behind him and ride the Dilo until he's dead. And not long after, a pack of three Allosaurus would come along and steal these bodies from me. And the next day, another Utah Raptor would cross my radar. I'll try to sneak up on him, he might not see me if I cut around all the pine trees around him. There he is. Hello, beautiful. Oh, he's done. I can hear the others. He's going for the cliff. Oh, I can't go down there. I'll never get back up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's have a look on top. Going around these rocks on a dialogue was suicidal. There was no going back. Yep. Yep. I just dug my own grave. 
I was 100% trapped on the side of this cliff. I did try going straight ahead, but it was a dead end. The only way was down. Yep, that's that. I hope you, my friends, enjoyed the video. And here we are at the end of another epic tale. It's your boy, Our Time, signing out.